Andre Karpathy is one of the co-founders of OpenAI, a very smart guy. I highly recommend his YouTube videos explaining large language models and transformers, generally for anyone who's interested in this stuff. He, he doesn't post that much on the internet. Interestingly, he's been frantically posting about Nano Banana Pro. He's very impressed, posting things like a workout that Nano Banana Pro generated for him, which I find exciting that somebody who is a top level researcher, a top level creator of these, these products, even he's, this is really cool. Look at this. And there are things he's highlighted like this one, which is going to be a big issue. People have given Nano Banana Pro an exam paper and Nano Banana Pro is able to fill it all out, including workings in handwriting as if it was filling it out like a human being. You can see one example here, physics. The one at the bottom looks like chemistry, chem one, two, one. So it's able to draw these diagrams. It's able to work everything through as if it was a, a human being. It's even, if you can see here, you might not be able to make it out. It's even sketched things like on an exam paper, when you're not quite sure of something, you might sketch something out before you put it in as a final answer It's done. So this is extremely impressive. Nano Banana Pro is not just creating images. It is first going through a thinking stage, a reasoning stage, working things out and then making images based on what it has created. Gemini Nano Banana Pro can solve exam questions in the exam page image with doodles, diagrams, all of that. GPT think these solutions are all correct except for selenium 2P2 diselenium phosphide and a spelling mistake. It should be thiosanic acid instead of thiosanic. That's a pretty high-end mistake to be honest. Talking to an LLM via text is like typing into a DOS terminal and GUI hasn't been invented yet. Carpathy is suggesting this is maybe the new way that we interact with AIs. It's going to be about letting the AI see what we see and then allowing them to kind of almost working in the space that we also work in. Right now, everything is mediated through text. We are moving towards multimodality quickly. This example is, I'm sure if you're an educator, very interesting. We need to look at what we're doing with our education systems because they are under attack from artificial intelligence it is bringing into question how we learn and what we should be learning and how do we stop people being lazy how do we get them through the process of learning when they have every right to say why am i learning this because now ai can do it for me 